What's happening ladies and gents? Boys and girls or whatever else you are. Morning. We're in uh, Jaipur, Rajasthan. I've got my India cricket top on which <laughs> I bought the other day. Which everyone seems to make a comment about but I think it's cool so that's all that matters. And we're just going to have a walk around Jaipur today. We've both got dodgy stomachs from eating train food. But I'm still going to go and eat loads of curry because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Um, so yeah, just today's video is just going to be walking around Jaipur, see what we can find. So yeah, let's go see what's about. No, small. Chai? Small. Chai. No chai, no small. Come on then, get in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So just stopped off for a chai, as usual, get asked for photos, which I don't mind doing. Uh, but yeah, 20 rupees and chai is my new favourite drink, it's absolutely beautiful. Way better than the tea we get in England. Masala chai. Masala chai, beautiful stuff. Well, it don't look like anyone listens to them rules anyway. Okay folks, so the first stop today in Jaipur, the pink city of India, is Masala Chowk, which is a bit like a food court. So we're going to go and try some different bits of food. I believe it's 10 rupees entry per head. So you've got to buy a ticket. Here's the ticket counter. So yeah, 10 rupees per person, 10p each. Go. Okay. So yeah, here we go, Masala Chowk food court, outdoor food court. So hopefully we can get some nice grub here because I'm getting hungry right now. <laughs> so lots of different foods here. Pani Puris, I believe. Pani Puri? How much for one? Sorry? How much? 30. Oh, one portion. One, yeah, yeah. So Pani Pure is first on the menu because I love this stuff. Just one. So here we go. Pani Puri, like little crisp balls with like chickpeas and onions and like a liquid inside. So next on the list is Pav Bhaji. We've gone for the four piece and it's like a pieces of bread and uh, with like, well I'll show you actually rather than explaining. So Indian food, everyone loves Indian food, um, but it's very, very like heavy on rice and bread and parathas and all that sort of stuff. Um, so this is basically bread with like a curry, I think it's like chickpea curry or something with onions and lemon or lime. We haven't actually tried this one yet. It's a very famous dish out here. I think they eat it for breakfast. I might be wrong, any Indian people, please correct me. But 100 rupees, so a pound, and that we're gonna share that. So this particular place we're at does all different sorts of pav bhaji. We've gone for this one, the cheapest one, because we're going to try lots of different things. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. One thing I've seen a lot of people doing is they always put lemon over the onions. So this has cost us one British pound. I mean, look at that for a pound. Full of calories though. No wonder I'm getting fatter. Mm. 
Nice. Really Indian food. So what's this one, Chanel? Tiki shop. Tiki. <laughs> what? Can you say what it is? Uh, alu tiki. Alu tiki. There we go. Fifty rupees. Fifty p. Very cheap. Spicy or? Let me have a taste test. <laughs> Very good, I love Indian food. Oh, sweet as well, yeah? Oh, my fault, bro. Right, I'm going, in, I'm going in for this one here. Well, it's got a drop on you. I know, it's fine. Wow. Good. Mmm. That one's the best. Right then, my peoples, that's a quick little tour of Masala Chowk. Absolutely recommend that place more than anywhere else I've been in India, especially if you like your food, which we do. We've literally filled us boat, both of us are full for less than three pounds, two pounds 80 for three dishes, three bottles of water, and a can of Diet Coke. I mean, how can you complain at that? The food was absolutely beautiful, out of this world. Absolutely recommend. We're gonna come back later for some tea. Uh, so now we're gonna carry on with the day and go to the Pink City. Yes, I'm just ordering a tuk -tuk. Just ordering a tuk-tuk on Uber or Ola. It's around 70 rupees to get there from where we're at currently. So yeah, let's go, uh, let's go see what it's all about. Say hello. What's your name? What's your name? Namaste. Nice to meet you, my friend. So we just got Hawa Mahal. So one of the famous buildings in uh, Jaipur or Jaipur, as it was called. The Hawa or Jawa Mahal. I don't know how you say it. I think it's Jawa Mahal. Okay, so. Second place on the menu today. Hawa Mahal. One of the famous landmarks here in Jaipur. So yeah, we're gonna go check it out, see what it is, see what it's about. So, ticket prices, we're going to go for this one, which gives you access to the Amber Palace, Nahagara Fort, Hawa Mahal, Albert Hall Museum, Genta Manta, I'm not going to go through them all, uh, but it gives you access for two days, so it's pretty good really I suppose. So yeah, we're going to go get tickets now, 1000 each, £10 each. So yeah, there's a the ticket window. So here we go. Jawa Mahal. Very famous here in India. Phone? Smile for me, say hello, 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 hello. <laughs> oh, you don't like me. Come on, <laughs> Your names? Rikas and yours? Oh, nice names. Where are you guys from? Delhi. Oh, Delhi. Delhi. Nice, nice place. Today. Very busy. Okay, peoples. Next one on the list is Jantur Mantur. I don't know how you say it. I think that's how you say it. 
Don't know what it is, but it's included in the ticket, so we're gonna go have a bash at it, see what it's all about. Jantamantu. No, oh, thank you, my friend. Oh, wow, look at this then. World Heritage Site. Oh. So, World Heritage Site. Look at them things there, they're cool. So, some uh, big instruments thing here the Yantra Raj and Ast Astrolabe. Pretty big words on there for an idiot like me. Don't really understand what it is. But if you're interested in all that sort of stuff, there's a description for you. So, this place, Janta Mantour, is actually an assembly of stone built astronomical instruments designed to be used with the naked eye. Very, very interesting. It was built by <laughs> on the command of Raja <laughs> Jai Singh II, who had a very keen interest in mathematics and astrology. So, if you're wondering where I've got that information from, <laughs> I'm on my phone. <laughs> uh, Very cool place though. We are, we're useless with facts. Just a little break here because the heat's getting to me. Definitely warm in Rajasthan. More of a dry heat though in, in Varanasi. That was the hottest place I've been yet in India. It was a humidity, it was a killer. Look at the size of this beast of a cow here. My God. So we've just been chilling there in the, the place that we were just. Sat down for like an hour in the shade, getting out of this heat. And to be honest with you, I've lost all my energy and charisma now. So Isalat, that's where we're going now. So let's go check that out, see what it's all about. Right, so that's where we're going. To the top of that tower. Is it called it Is Isalat? Yeah. Isala, Isala, not sure on the pronunciation, but hopefully this is going to give us big views of the city of J Jaipur, Jaipur, formerly known as Jaipur, now Jaipur. We've got like the market here, random fires, just on the street. at the top of the tower 360 views of J Jaipur epic views right folks in a top top on his way out of the madness, back to the hotel for a bit, get out of the heat and chill out. Hello, brother. Hey, Hi, hey, very good. So, yeah, that's one day in Jaipur. We've got some more videos coming up tomorrow, the other side. So, yeah, let's let's see what happens. Wow, how many people in that Wow. <laughs> so, we've got a bit of bonus footage here for you the next day and we're at the um, Amber Fort. No we're not. No we're not. Where are we? Tiger Fort Nagaha. Tiger Fort or Nagaha Fort, can't pronounce it properly. Probably the best views you'll get of the Jaipur city. from here.
absolutely epic views from up here. So that's the only thing I can say, it's worth it just for the views because you see the whole of the city, plus all these monkeys everywhere. So yeah, it's uh, worth coming, but it's quite a way out of the city. You have to get a tuk tuk, it takes about 45 minutes up the big hill. But yeah, come, come see for yourself, see what you think. Save the best till last, the Amber Fort. Apparently there's more scams here than anywhere else in Rajasthan. According to some YouTubes I've watched. Absolutely stunning place. Absolutely gorgeous in fact. So let's go check it out. Absolutely mega this place. Stunning. Well, initial impressions of this place are that it's way better than the Taj Mahal. It's quieter. Although there is a lot of people here, but it's just absolutely stunning, it really, really is. So we're here at Golden Hour. The Amber Fort, beautiful. even get yourself a nice brew whilst you're here. A real Jaipuri man now. In me. Oh, sorry, yeah, Rajasthani Jaipur. Beautiful hat. Gonna knock it. Gonna knock it. So, on the way out, I've decided to buy myself one of these hats. Not sure what it's called. I've seen lots of the the men walking around with these on. I feel like a true. Rajasthani Jaipur man, I feel really good. And we've already not got enough room in the bags. And we've already not got enough room in the bags, but this is what it's about. I feel real good. It's giving me this extra boost of confidence having this hat on. I love it. Someone let me know in the comments what it's called because I've no idea. Okay, folkies, that's your lot for the uh, Amber Fort. Absolutely spectacular place. Better than the Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal's overrated, beautiful, but just, yeah, I want that much for it. But this place, definitely worth it if you're in Jaipur. Definitely go for it. That is going to be the end of this Jaipur video across the two days. So, yeah, Jaipur, definitely up there is number one on the places I've been in India so far. Nice, the people are lovely, the food's great, the views are brilliant, 
lots of stuff to see. But yeah, more than anything, it's the people that make it. The people of Rajasthan are very, very beautiful, very nice people. So yeah, come to uh, come to Jaipur.